Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you um, how to use IDP failover between Kerberos and forms based authentication. Um, in this specific demo, I'm going to use um, Okta to be uh, my identity provider. So I'm on a, I'm on a Mac, but uh, it could be a domain joined Windows machine. Um, so if I just um, do a K in it, uh, I get my Kerberos token. Uh, Kerberos is passing via um, ZPA. Um, I know that because my, it's my domain controller, dc2.wellspeak.net. Um, you can see it's the 164 address um, happening for this. So there's my ticket granting ticket. What I'm going to do, um, I'm going to open up a, a private browser session to make sure that um, you can see that it's nothing cached or anything going on. Um, what I'm going to do is go to SAML SP um, or uh, this is the um, the service provider um, for Zscaler. Um, I could use any service provider. I could be using um, you know, Azure AD or whatever. Anything that's going to generate a SP initiated sign on. And what it's saying is, um, if I clicked on the right one, um, is there it's going to send uh, the domain as well, Geek, which is my domain and and the redirect URL. Um, so. Generate an SP initiated sign on, send me to Okta, and Okta is then going to transparently sign me on with Kerberos. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, Okta is being sent by a ZPA as well. It does desktop SSO, it's detecting my client, um, requesting Kerberos tokens, um, and then I get signed in. And because of virtue I'm signed in, it's going to launch the Zscaler app or bring Zscaler app to the foreground. Um, in the background, it went off and get a Kerberos ticket for um, Okta, um, and so desktop SSO works with, with Okta. All well and good. So here's what we do. We go back to my KDS. I'll do a K destroy minus A. So effectively, I've got no Kerberos tickets, and you could say it's the same as being a non-domain joined machine or a, a machine that can't get to the domain. So we'll come out to here. We'll close down Safari. I'm going to relaunch Safari just to show the first principles. I'm going to open a private browser session again. And we'll go back to HTTPS, um, SAML SP, private .com, um, and we'll launch that same URL. Um, so again, SP, SP initiated sign on sends me to Okta. Um, I should have muted that. Um, and at this point, Okta was unable to actually see that I had a Kerberos token. It tried to challenge for the Kerberos token, couldn't get one, and then defaulted back um, to a forms-based authentication. I log in with my username and password at this point, and I get exactly the same experience. So it's entirely a function of the IDP to fail back from um, Kerberos integrated Windows authentication to forms-based authentication. Uh, when it is Kerberos authentication, Kerberos tokens work through ZPA. Um, and of course, when it's not Kerberos authentication, it's just an HTTP web form or HTTPS, and the forms get presented to the user. The user interacts with that, providing their credentials, and then they're signed in. Um, hope this helps.